Welcome to Bus Road. So this is a ballard booth. So for us, the bus market is very important. Uh, when it comes to fuel cell, hydrogen mobility is probably been deployed more than anywhere else in transit bus world. Today, we have probably around, I would say, 1,100 fuel cell buses in operation in the streets of Europe. Out of that, 80% of those buses are powered by a ballard fuel cell. So for us, it's a very important market. We have been deploying fuel cell buses since the early 2000s. Today, there are 70 cities in the world which are using our fuel cell, and we work with over 15 different bus OEMs which have integrated our products. So here, we have a current product. This product is very successful. Uh, many bus operators have integrated it, uh, either on the rooftop of the vehicle or sometime in the engine bay. Uh, this one, there's more than 600 of those now in operation in, in Europe. So that's uh, really the, uh, the product which has accumulated millions of kilometers of, uh, of road service, very robust, and it's used by uh, numbers of OEMs which have integrated it either into a 12-meter bus or a double-decker bus. So that's the current products we have. But we are here today at uh, Bus Road to present our new product, the FC Move SC. So you have seen our current products. Now let's go and see our ninth generation, our latest product. So we have here the FC Move SC. So that's our latest products that we are presenting for the first time here at Bus Road 2025. So. This is a module which has been specifically designed for transit buses. So now we have a product with a peak power up to 80 kilowatt, where the previous product was only 70 kilowatt. But what we have, what is more important, we have pre-integrated a lot of the components. So not only you have the fuel cell, but you have the DC-DC converter, which has been integrated. All the connection points are at the end here making much easier for the uh, bus OEM to integrate the fuel cell with the rest of the electric drive train. So in addition, what we have done, we have increased the operating temperature of the fuel cell, uh, now up to 80 degrees. By doing so, the fuel cell will require less radiator in order to cool it down, uh, an additional saving for the bus OEM. So what we really have done with this product is to lower the life cycle cost of the product, reduce the cost capex as the initial integration of the products by having a more powerful, smaller module, easier to integrate, requiring less interface, more scope have been taken on by Ballard, simplifying the connection for the bus OEM. And at the same time, by increasing the operating temperature we reduce the cooling requirement, reduce the radiator, resulting in a lower capex on the products. Now, capex is only one element. What we wanted to make sure is that the operating cost also is reduced. How we have done that? We have simplified the system. We have 40% less components than in the previous generation. That means less maintenance, more robust components and easier access. What we have here, we have an open architecture. Rather than having a box with components inside where you need to open up the box, here you have direct access to all the main components. So if maintenance, if you need to change your filters, you have a much easier access, rather, rather uh, reducing really the maintenance time and making sure that the vehicle is not off the road for too long. So reducing the numbers of parts, increasing the robustness of the components as well as the access and reducing the time it takes to change each of the components during the lifetime of the product. So we believe that the small core products, uh, FC Move SC, delivers a lower total life cycle cost, uh, easier integration for the uh, bus OEM, as well as a product which will be more friendly in terms of maintenance on operation.